All right, Travel Dons, welcome back. And today, we're headed to Delphi, Greece, because I got a date with an oracle to learn about my future. Alrighty guys, so we are here outside of Halandri Station in Athens and we are waiting for our tour bus to arrive. This tour I booked through Viator. I think it's called Amman Express Tours. So you can kind of book them either through Viator or through Amman Express themselves. Uh, but anyway, you had to be here about like eight o'clock in the morning uh, during the winter season. They start a little bit earlier uh, because of course, obviously the sun goes down and I believe Delphi, clo or Delphi closes probably around 3.30 or four o'clock. So, but anyway, we're gonna get on our bus and make our way to Delphi, Greece. So on the tour, you get kind of like your first stop, pit stop is kind of uh, out in this place called uh, Livid Lividios, I believe it's called. And it's a small, uh, really nicely put together cafe called Tolos. Uh, you're here about 20 minutes, so you can use the restroom, get yourself a, a cup of a cup of coffee or a hot tea, and then of course, uh, maybe a snack if you need to. Um, it's kind of like about an hour and a half, hour 40 into the trip. So, a little corn bar with plum and honey. Uh, Ooh, that's actually really nice. So, but yeah, just kind of do a little pit stop here and then we'll continue on to Delphi. have officially made it into the sanctuary of Delphi. It's about right now during uh, the off season, like winter time, it's about six euros, it's 12 uh, during the uh, the summertime. But there are all the options as well. If you're EU and you're a student, like a lot of places uh, and you're under 25, it is free admission. And I think every first Sunday of any month, it's also free admission. So you got some options there, but we're all along the sacred way. We're gonna walk up Delphi and uh, go check out all this great, great uh, Greek history. So as you are walking the sacred way of Delphi, take your time to kind of look at all the little information boards because it goes into the different places along the sacred way and also the history of them. Similar to the Acro Corinth, the further you go up uh, the mountain towards the Temple of Apollo uh, that housed the Oracle, the further you go back in time. One of the earlier places that you stop at uh, down near the bottom of the entrance is the Roman Agora. So that goes back more to Roman days. Uh, you come up here, you have of course uh, the rock here. They called, I think it's the Amphalos. And that is the rock that Zeus threw from uh, Mount Olympus after he had sent two eagles to circle the world and where they met was basically considered the center of the world and he threw the stone down. And from there, this place be kind of, I believe it, that's where it kind of got its kind of mythic power uh, for people to kind of start to have visions. And that's where the story of the Oracle sort of begins. But it's just absolutely epic. And of course the backdrops of Mount Parnassos and all the other surrounding mountains here is just amazing. Take your time when you are here to just kind of like truly experience just, the nature of this place is just, it's fantastic. All right guys, so behind me is the heart 
of the sanctuary of Delphi, and that, of course, is the temple or the altar of Apollo. That was where the Pythia would basically give her oracles, her visions of your future. So if you wanted to know anything about whether it's your, what, 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 what sex or gender your baby was going to be, or what, uh, what you should do for your country, you know, this is where Leonidas came. This is where uh, Themistocles came. This is where so many ancient Greek figures came, and even non-Greek figures from all around the world would come to learn their fortunes here. So, but it's absolutely fantastic. This is actually, I believe, the third iteration of the temple uh, that was built in 330 BC. The original one was like in the seventh century. So it's gone through some different iterations, but it's just really cool. And of course, can't beat the views. So up here in the theatrical district, this is kind of like the highest level uh, of the entire sanctuary of Delphi, and it just kind of like towers over the the entire valley here, which is absolutely epic. And then behind me, of course, back there is the amphitheater of Delphi, and that's kind of like where they put on all the different shows. And it's actually the most well-preserved of the monuments here in the sanctuary of Delphi. And they used to be able to seat, I think, like 5,000 people for the different shows and stuff that they would put on. It's just absolutely amazing. These views are phenomenal, and just all of these monuments are so well-preserved. It's fascinating because I think like this place was not rediscovered I think until like the 1800s for the longest time it was lost to time and now everything that they found is just oh I'm in heaven <laughs> So with your ticket into the sanctuary of Delphi, you've got basically three places that you want to visit. The first is, of course, the main sanctuary. The second is the museum, which is what we're going to go into next. Okay, the Archaeological Museum at Delphi is absolutely phenomenal. Just the amount of statues, reliefs, steles that they've kind of like uh, accumulated and put on showcase there is just amazing. That's well worth it. And the fact that it's like, you know, during the off-season time, six euros for both entrance to uh, the, the, the sanctuary and that museum, you get a lot out of that. Uh, of Delphi is called the Sanctuary of Athena Pronea. Now, pronea is a Greek word. It's consisted of two ancient words. Pro means pre, like before. And nea comes from naos. Naos means temple. So basically, it's the sanctuary of Athena, Gares Athena, before the temple. Which temple? The temple of Apollo. Now, if it is before the temple of Apollo, this means that the name has been given to the place by somebody who's coming from there. Otherwise, it would not be before the temple, right? So the third part of this whole Delphi experience is to come down the road a little bit to the Temple of Athena. And the Temple of Athena ruins is right over on this side. The original temple, I believe, was built in the 7th century. The one you see here was built in the 5th. And then, of course, the iconic Tholos, which if, if you've ever uh, seen pictures of the Delphi area, that one is probably one of the more iconic shots. And that is the Tholos of Athena. That was, I believe, built in the 4th century uh, BC, and it is just... It's absolutely stunning. It's like the, the, the whole valley down here is amazing. All of these trees here, are, a lot of them are olive trees, and I believe it is the largest olive grove in Europe if you add in the entire hillside here. It's just the, the history, the, the nature, it's just absolutely fantastic here. So yeah, and this part I believe is actually free to come into because uh, there was no kind of gate to check. And this was literally kind of like the first place that people would go to. They prayed to Athena here, and then they would go to Delphi and um, pray at the uh, Temple of Apollo. And of course, Esthapathia for an oracle. But yeah, this is, 
this has been awesome. So but anyway, we're going to go into the small little town that we passed by earlier and get some lunch. <music> Okay, so now that we're done with Delphi, we've come to a town, a little uh, mountain town called Arahola, and it's kind of like on the way to Delphi, and it's this cute, quaint little town that reminds me of San Marino. If you've ever been to San Marino, it's very much a mountain city. It's got all these different like small back alleys that go up and down the mountain. It is a very popular with Greeks, particularly in the wintertime, because once the snow hits, uh, there is a ski resort on the other side of the mountain, but it's just, it's really, really cool. And we just came into a uh, little taverna, so we're gonna get something to eat real quick, and then we'll take kind of like a little guided tour walk around uh, All right, so the tavern that we're at is called uh, La Rocada, and I basically got myself uh, a nice dish of carbonara. I know, again, just like in the, uh, the Corinth video, maybe not entirely Greek, but it's their own version. It's house-made, house-made pasta, uh, with the uh, local cheese to spread on top. And you know what? I've been craving a carbonara pretty much this whole trip. So we're gonna get take a little taste of that. Just look at that, it looks delicious. Mm. Oh yeah. That's got some great flavor. Mm. I could use with the um, ham maybe a little bit more crunchiness to it. Um, but outside of that, that is a fantastic carbonara. So, excuse me while I pick out, and then we'll go take that walk. Yeah, this is totally San Marino vibes. I mean, just walking down these little alleyways right here up and down the mountain yeah this is this is so cool so there's a couple of main churches uh throughout arcova and this one here, the Church of Assumption of Saint uh, of the Virgin Mary, is amazing. You want to talk about some views that you get from here, and then of course it's just it's 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 actually it's not just the church; it's a whole complex here that's just really kind of cool to explore. Yeah, this is. I'm gonna keep saying it. I'm getting so much San Marino vibes; it's ridiculous. Travel Dons. I hope y'all enjoyed that tour of Delphi. That was an epic, epic tour. I cannot believe like the just the feel of that place, the history of it, just the 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 entire landscape is just amazing. You just kind of like really feel that you're just you're you're back in time when you're in a place like that. It's just absolutely phenomenal. The way that it's preserved, it's 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 just fantastic. That's all I can really really say. And that little mountain town of uh, Rajova, wow, like that's a place I could definitely retire to and live. That's that's a lot of fun. Particularly if I'm not too far from a ski resort. Heck yeah, every winter going skiing, you got it. So, but anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a big old thumbs up if you did. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell. And if you want to help support the channel, I do have a Patreon page and a Buy Me A Coffee account. Links will be in the description below. And also, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave those in the comments below, and I'll answer those to the best of my ability. But until we meet again, guys, peace out and have a great night.